Hi gang, I just got in from work and I'm going to do a really quick video response for Sharon, uh, Shaz, that is, at Shaz Designs. And I'm going to show the little page that I did for her and I hope it's not too out, you know, off the charts. But um, I'll just show it to you. <laughs> okay. I actually just started doodling on this page. And I doodled the flowers and leaves and little swirlies and everything. And then um, I added a Sharpie marker around some of the images. At the dotted little pieces here, that's just Sharpie marker. I used glitter glue to do like little hashtags all over it. There. I don't know if you can see them or not. Glitter glue. And then down along the edge is some bling that is like um, I don't know what you call what do you call that where it goes from one color and fades and comes into another color and fades and comes into another color I can't remember what that's called for nothing so that's side one and I side it signed my YouTube channel right here then when you turn the page I just glued several different pieces, scraps of paper out of my scrap bin, some flowers I had punched out at one time, um, added some little bling pieces in the center of each flower. Um, I wrote, record your thoughts, and then when you flip these up, and your memories, and I've attached an index card there. These are just scraps of paper I had in my scrap bin, so I just made a waterfall out of it. And I've added this fairy because she's been hanging around for a very long time. And um, I wanted to make sure that she's still stuck on something. So that's why she's in here. Um, when you flip it up, I put half of an index card in. So if, like, if you put a picture here, you could write something about, about it here. You know, and I did that on each one of these. And I've added some glitter glue across the bottom of them. And then the back one I put where you put the picture here and then you can write a whole bunch of information on the large index card. So I hope that is what you were looking for, um, Shaz. Just let me know if it's not and I'll do another one. But I was hoping to get this one in the mail. Actually, you're going to get this one if it's not what you were looking for. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, then you wanted us to decorate the envelope that we send this in. And I just used a sheet of the art paper from that paper pad I've been trying to use up. And um, I did a collage, and then I went over it with gesso, and I applied napkin and glitter glue and punch outs. And I put on here, I beg your pardon. And then when you turn the envelope over, I never promised you a rose garden <laughs> just because I used all these punched out flowers. But then this is a rose garden across the bottom of the envelope. See the roses all come across here? I just was being silly. And um, this has got paint, gesso, papers, uh, glitter glue, all kinds of stuff. And I just folded it, and it's actually closing upside down because of the way it's laying. <laughs> I wanted to make sure the roses came across the front, so I did the tab on the wrong side. But it'll be all right. It'll get to you. So that is what I made. I hope that's what you were looking for. And um, I'm going to get this in the mail. I just need to grab a quick note card and pop a note in here for you. And I'll talk with you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.